Welcome to Wild Breakaway alongside Mike Greenlay. I'm Audra Martin. The Wilds were hoping to make it three straight wins. Unfortunately, tonight in Nashville, they ran into a red hot netminder in Pecorine who remains unbeaten in regulation. Today, he picks up his first perfect game of this season, a 4 nothing loss tonight for Minnesota. Yeah, Pekka Rene is a, a world-class goaltender. There's no question about it. And you see the way he moves. He's 6'6", 220, and getting the puck past him just in a, in a normal way is difficult. <laughs> but the Wild tried everything. I mean, they were deflecting pucks in on him. They were trying to drive the net a little bit. They didn't have the benefit of power plays early in the hockey game, which certainly could have helped. But uh, Pekka Rene was just Pekka Rene. I mean, that's a, the best way to say it. And when you face a goal tender like that, you have to do something a little bit more extraordinary than usual in order to beat a goaltender like that who is on his game. Yeah, a tough break for the Minnesota Wilds who really played a good game defensively early on. Things obviously did not go in their favor. The, the National Predators getting the 4 nothing win. Like you said, a very uh, clean game when it comes to those penalties because those two power play opportunities for the Minnesota Wild didn't come until the final 10 minutes of this game, but they were not able to take advantage of the struggling Nashville penalty kill. Tough break for the Minnesota Wild whose struggles on the road continue. They now fall to 1-6 away from home. Well, well, if you look at our schedule, it better change. Yeah. You know, so I mean, it's a, uh, it's just something that uh, uh, we have to change. And again, you, you, we, pockets of good time. Um, you know, like, a, like I said, the first period was great, but we don't get rewarded for anything. So when you don't get rewarded, you know, it's going to eventually turn around. So now the Wild return home for a one quick game series at home against the visiting L.A. Kings on Saturday. And we'll get you started at 630 here on Fox Sports North. The Kings are a team that the Wild took advantage of last season, picking up wins in all three of those meetings. A lot of the same returning cast yep. here with L.A. and an opportunity for the Minnesota Wild to continue the winning ways at the XL Energy Center and hopefully get things back on track. Yeah, well, we like to call them the usual suspects because <laughs> you, you do recognize a lot of these names. Uh, Andre Kopitar leads him with 10 points. Dustin Brown is still uh, creating a lot of havoc there. Drew Doughty back on the blue line and their goaltenders, Jack Campbell and of course, uh, Jonathan Quick. Jonathan Quick's numbers aren't great this year. He's 2-3-0, and 4.44 goals against and an 84 save percentage. They've been involved in some high scoring games. As I've said, for this game as well, you don't want to get into track meets with teams uh, when you have a little bit of a depleted lineup. The Wild have injuries, so hopefully they can play the Kings tight and the Kings give them the opportunities that that the Wild had in this game, except now they have to make good on them. Yeah, the offense has been impressive for the Wild on home ice. A bit of a different story on the road, but hopefully they can break through again offensively to pick up their fourth straight win against the LA Kings. We'll see if they can get it done on Saturday. We look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, for Mike Greenlay, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Wild Breakaway.